scrappy friends so I have a new layout for you today and this layout I am using stuff from my scraptastic kit for November and I love this kit I don't know if it's just because it has a lot of Maggie Holmes open book and I really like that collection or if it's just that I really really like this combination of colors <laughs> so you just see me just so my background paper and I'm going to use that and it's called memoirs and I really wanted to use like a ledger type of paper or like a lined paper because I haven't used one for a background in a while so and you just seen me have a whole bunch of paper on there because I kind of was picking out some of the papers that I was going to use and so here in a minute you're going to see um, a layout that I found on Pinterest that I really really liked and so I'm kind of going to use this as my inspiration Whoop, sorry it's wobbly and this layout wow I should have did a better job at a uh, labeling on my sheet where I found that so I found it on Pinterest and if you go to Pinterest you can see all the things I've pinned <laughs> I am on Pinterest. I don't go on all the time, but I do have some of my layouts on there and I have pinned layouts or ideas or concepts of like food, mostly, well, probably more like scrapbooking stuff now, but, but other ideas. So it'll be on there and maybe if I remember, I'll try to put who I like the link of who did that I do know that that's a digital one and mine isn't gonna really look anything much like it I just I really enjoyed it and I kind of was using it sort of so I am using a uh, blue gelato because <clears throat> this layout is gonna be of my son so I'm not gonna be using any of the pinks and I'm so I'm trying to make it more boyish and I really think that the blue will work really well with like the yellow colors because there's a lot of blues in this kit so I'm actually really happy about that because sometimes I find the kits to be more feminine which is great because I'm a girl and I have two girls but when I want to do a layout of my bro my brother <laughs> it's getting late <laughs> um, of my son or like my husband I don't really want to be using too much girly colors. I think that um, in the end, they would appreciate me not just doing a layout of them and all girly stuff. So, so I'm just using some water after with gelatos. When you put them on, they're kind of like a gel waxy type of stick, and I blended it with my finger on top of the gesso. If you don't use gesso, then it doesn't blend very well and so I like to use a paintbrush to get my gelatos flowing um, but you can use spray water so here you're seeing me take some mist and I missed that mat from Jelly Bean soup that I want to use in green it's a Mr. Huey's and so I don't really want to waste the leftovers on this mat that I use to do a lot of my stuff on and that's just a Cricut mat so it's nothing so as you can see I just kind of <clears throat> you know mushed it around on my layout and it it really looks cool with the drips so and that's really just all I was wanting to accomplish I didn't want it to be super crazy or you know or like way out of the box I just wanted some drips and since I wanted to use that spray I wanted I didn't want to waste it so I'm going to back it up on this card stock and I believe that's from Stampin' Up. I think it's from their in colors. I got a pack of just like multicolored in color paper because I really liked the pink and the teal color that they had. So, and I had some neutrals. Now, as you can see, I am using a ton of ATG tape. <laughs> and if I wonder why I have to refill it so quick, this is why. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why I felt the need to use that much ATG. Sometimes I think it's more therapeutic just putting it on there. 
Um, but I also didn't want my paper to come apart. I did a lot of stuff and I used my heat gun to set it just to take the time or so I didn't have to take the time to let it sit. I will say if you let it sit with the air, it doesn't quite warp as much, but not always. So I'm using this like, it's almost like a gold pen, I think, or like a bronzy color. And I'm using that, I think it's American Crafts. And I'm just using it to make faux stitch marks around the outside. And I did distress, I don't know if you noticed that, I used scissors. I don't have one of those fancy, nice Tim Holtz distressers. A pair of kid scissors, I think, works perfectly. Um, it really gets that fuzziness. Um, and if your paper's not too thin, which you do have to be careful with the Maggie Holmes paper because it's a little bit thinner and I think it rips. So here I'm going to use those two strips for the background. And one is leaves and one's the polka dot. And so the leaves are Maggie Holmes and then the other one is from Gossamer Blue on my desk. And I really like the combination of the yellow and it's like a gray type of like dot. <clears throat> so I really like the way that that looks. So I'm deciding here that I think I want to just kind of trim this down a little bit. It doesn't need much trimming, but I didn't want the white. So, and I'm going to back it on this paper from Gossamer Blue and that has hearts on it and it's like a that one also is like a gray so that that kit on my desk has a lot of like grays and yellow colors so I just wanted those other colors from it to kind of pop out just a teeny teeny tiny bit so I didn't use much and I'm inking everything in the anchor from Prima that came in the kit and it is called Attic Dust so it's kind of like a gray type of color. So here I'm just kind of thinking about what I want to do next, <laughs> how I want to go about doing this because even though I have this layout that I'm kind of using as my inspiration I know it's not going to look exactly like that because I don't have the wood grain and so you know that's the one thing that I like about when you see a layout. It can inspire you to do almost something completely different so it doesn't really look anything like the layout that you were looking at. And I think that, to me, that's the fun part of scrapbooking, is that you can see a layout and be inspired to do something almost completely different than what you've seen, but it just inspired you to do like take a couple elements. So, And I did stagger those two pieces. So here I decide that I want to start taping things down because I'm going to do some layers and everything, but I'm not exactly sure how. So I use my ATG and then just a little bit of glue because I don't want it like moving around. That's the only thing about using that kind of glue is sometimes it moves around and it makes a lot of mess. So, and I like with the ATG, like especially on that mat, you can just use your finger and rub off the extra tape that you have. So I use that Maggie Holmes paper there um, to back my mat just so you can see the words because they do kind of get lost a little bit. So I want something to pop out and I knew it wasn't going to pop out just by putting it on those two background strips. So here I'm trying to think, do I want to add more layers? How many more layers do I want? And I was thinking about that blue and gray from Gossamer Blue for the picture, but I already did that gray with the hearts. And I just thought it was too similar, so I decided to use that with the, the mat. I thought that that would be really fun. And I do distress the Maggie Holmes paper. Yeah, um, and just a little bit, just a teeny tiny bit, just to give it a little bit of dimension. And so here's where I'm thinking about that I want to add more layers behind my photo. And at this point, I still haven't stuck anything like major down to my layout, which is kind of unlike me. I like to stick things down and then regret it and then have to try to peel it back up. So here I'm looking through um, some stuff that I have from some of my paper issue swag bags that I've had 
And I'm just looking through and I'm looking because since they use a lot of current products that were new, um, I knew that there would be some things that would match with the papers from Scraptastic because they use also stuff that just came out. So I'm just looking for colors that are similar. And that's really what I'm looking. I think those are Ellie Studio, if I'm not mistaken. Because I have some Christmas stuff and they look really similar. So I'm just looking for colors that I think are going to match, some blues, some yellows. You know, really at this point, I'm just thinking about, okay, what colors can I get that are similar, but that are going to, or contrasting, you know, that are going to look good with everything else. And I know I don't want to do a whole lot more, but I do want to layer behind my photo because I like layering. It's just fun. So I just take a couple of pieces out and just kind of cut them. And so I'm going to go back through and look through some more of my stuff after I even out everything after I cut. So I am going to look in this one just real quick. And I find a bead that says friend on one side. And then I find a couple of other small pieces that I actually end up using. So, and I think that they have this one, this box right here that I'm looking through. Now, and as you can see, when I do my process videos, I don't really plan ahead completely. <laughs> I might have like a sketch or, which I actually haven't used sketches in like forever, guys. In some ways, I can say I'm proud of myself because I've not had to use a sketch. But and sometimes I, f I miss it. So maybe I'll do a sketch coming up soon. Um, but yeah, so I don't really plan ahead too much as far as like I might have think, oh, I'm going to use this kit or, oh, I want to use this collection or whatever. But I don't always... So I really like the way this, those three look together and there's the triangles and one of the, that yellow paper reminded me of, I think it might have been from Gossamer Blue too. So, and then the blue dots that are, and I thought that that went really well with the blue on the other side. So I did cut that yellow piece up a little bit because I figured I wanted to do it, you know, use that extra piece. To stick out somewhere else and I kind of play around with where I want to put it because I'm not really sure if I wanted it up on the top but I really think I want this corner just to kind of be like you know opposite corners and so this is where I think I'm trying to decide where I want to put that gray tag that has like a leaf on it so as you can, and I really am trying to use that banner because I, I really like the banner and I like the gray and I think it kind of, it works well. So the colors. <laughs> so here's where I decide, okay, yeah, I want to stick that there, kind of give a little bit of extra layer down at the bottom, bring it down to the, like connect the bottom layers to the mat layers. And so here I'm using some glue dots, as you can see. And this is what I'm going to use to adhere those. And that other one says sweet on it. It's gr it's green. So I thought it would go with the Mr. Hueys. And I really like the way that those two layered look how those the blue and the yellow orangey color are layered. So I'm going to layer those and stick them on the other side just to give a few more now this one says October and I'm going to go back at some point later on because I was looking for the actual date of when, because this picture was from when we got our dog. We were waiting to meet our dog and for the first time, well, so, you know, because anyway, I was going to explain it more, but I will in a minute. <laughs> it's getting late. I think I need more coffee guys so but when I went back to look at the date I realized that it was actually November and not October so which shouldn't be a shock to me because we went after Halloween but so I had to go back and switch it out because at first it says so I'm looking through this and I pick a couple of just words to put 
and I do decide to stick that banner just floating and I know it's floating but I kind of like how there's just a few things in that corner otherwise I think it would be too much a weird open space so it kind of fills it in but it's not too much I don't know I kind of like the way that it's floating not really sure it follows any rules whatsoever so I'm just looking through these rub-ons because I haven't used them yet and I'm like I want to use them and I don't like the popsicle stick. I don't know. How many of you guys use the popsicle stick? I've used it on the Chamel ones. And those are the only ones that I don't mind. But I really... I like using like that pen. I use the Sharpie end. I like the way that that works. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. So I'm just looking for a few things that I can add to... Um, just to add some layer and some textures. And I do use that puffy sticker. I forgot to mention that. That one's Gossamer Blue too. I kind of fooled around with that a little bit. So yeah, this picture was from when we went to go get our... We were going to look and see if there was a dog at the animal shelter. So we were we looked at all the dogs and we were like, Hey, let's go meet this one dog and see if, if this is one that we might like. <clears throat> so... So we're waiting for him, and I just love this picture of my son wearing those sunglasses. And really, this layout almost has nothing to do with the fact that we were going to go get a dog. It really is about my son and these sunglasses, because let me tell you, my son just for, I don't know if it's because he sees me wear sunglasses all the time, that's probably what it is. But now, nowadays, he just he won't leave the house unless he has his sunglasses and he might only wear them for like part of the time so like he'll give them to me and then he'll want them back but at this point he had his sunglasses on and I just love I just, it's just such a cute picture of him with these sunglasses and I just love the fact that he just has to have his sunglasses and it's this green pair he has a cars pair that are pretty cool but he just he loves these green ones and they remind me of like the 50s because it has that style but he's just like he won't leave the house with them if we're walking out of the house and he can't get those sunglasses he gets really upset so I really just wanted because I had this picture of him and he looks so cute and you know all grown up with his sunglasses I wanted to do a layout about that even though you can see my other two kids in the picture <laughs> So the title is going to be The Kid in the Cool Sunglasses, and I use those tile stickers from Maggie Holmes, and then I'm going to use, I use here, so here I'm fixing that. Did I, I think I added everything else, and I use October Afternoon Daily Flash Alphas. I really like the black and the white, and then I use the green, pink paisley or like the teal color. So here I'm just going to do some journaling, pretty much about what I just told you. And then you guys are going to see some close-ups. Oh, after I stopped recording, I realized that I thought I wanted to add a little bit of like splatter. So I used Mr. Huey's and then I used some um, color shine. So some black. And that is my layout. So I hope you guys enjoy it and have a great week. Talk to you later. Bye.